this video I'm gonna teach you how to make cool 3D typography like this. Step by step, nice and simple. So let's go. Okay guys, so I'm gonna create a new composition control and uh, I'm gonna use those configs right here. Just like okay. And I'm gonna create a new solid control Y and the name is gonna be space. And I'm gonna add the CC particle Road. I'm gonna click on this option right here. I'm gonna unselect this position, radius, motion path, and the grid. I'm gonna open particles, physics, and producer. Bring in particle type. I'm gonna select the shaded sphere. I'm gonna select the color. I'm gonna put white. Okay, that's good. And the physics, I'm gonna change the animation to directional axis. Velocity, I'm gonna put zero. Gravity, I'm gonna put zero as well. And right here on the producer, I'm gonna increase the radius. It's gonna be something like this. I'm gonna increase the size variation and max opacity. Okay. You can increase a little bit of the gravity. Something like this. I'm gonna increase the birth size to become smaller. Something like this. Okay, that's better. And you can increase just a little bit of the velocity as well. I'm gonna increase it right here and decrease the birth rate. Okay, yeah, that's good. I'll get those images right here, but on the composition, I'm going to get this Polaroid right here and you're gonna have access to all my files, project files, After Effects, plugins, scripts, overlays, and much more at my address pack. So link in the description, I promise it's worth it and it's so cheap. So I'm gonna get this right here and I'm gonna make a mask. So press Q and I'm gonna make a mask right here. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate this layer because I'm gonna I'm gonna use again. So Control D on the Polaroid and you can pre-compose this layer. So click right here on the picture and holding Shift, click on the Polaroid and Control Shift C and you can name it. I'm gonna put Polaroid one and do the same for the the image. I'm gonna use this one right here. Again, press Q, make a mask and just pre-compose it watch your shift c and about the right to perfect control alt shift c to make a new camera and i'm gonna enable the view of those two images right here um oh don't forget to enable the 3d not this one right here and just press p and you can go a little bit forward holding shift press s to open the scale properties and I'm gonna put like right here press P on this one do the same like right here and holding shift to press R and we'll open the rotation properties so you can just change a little bit of the um the rotation this one right here and this one like right here maybe that's good I'm gonna make a new camera animation, so press P, holding shift, press A, and holding shift, press R to open the rotation properties. And I'm gonna select those keyframes and put a little bit forward, and as you can see, you can uh, use the camera options, or you can move the camera right here. So I'm gonna put like right here, change the rotation. And for me that's good, you can select those keyframes, F9 them, get right here on the graph and make this graph right here. That's good. That's something like this. And to create the turn animation, it's really easy. So just open the composition and right here, I want to tear this paper. So Control A, Control Shift C make a new composition okay and you're gonna get the paint tool so press g click on this option you'll be able to see better and just make mask like this you know really easy not that hard right um okay complete the, the mask perfect Control d press m and just import the mask perfect and i'm gonna make a new position and rotation keyframes. So select those two layers, press P, click right here, 
hold and shift press R and click on the rotation as well. Now I'm gonna make the animation. So make something like this. Um, again, F9, got the graph. And now we're gonna make this graph right here. Perfect. And you're gonna make this animation right here. I'm gonna make it a little bit faster. That's good. That's good. Now you can see we have the animation. I'm gonna make a new node. So Control Alt Shift Y Control Shift D Del. Click right here on the 3D and link the camera to the node. Press P. Hold and Shift Press R. Mark those keyframes right here. Press U. Press U again to be able to see the keyframes. And we're gonna make the, the animation, so I'm gonna rotate the camera, something like this, and make this animation right. That's good. Now you can unhide those layers again, and just uh, position whatever you want. So, and position like right here. The same for the other layers. Uh, this one, I'm gonna like right here. Press R to open the rotation properties. Uh, select those keyframes, F9 then, go to the graph and make this graph right here. I'm gonna change a little bit of uh, the keyframes and the position of those uh, layers right here. I guess this is too close, I don't know. I'm gonna create a new solid, so I'm called True Y, and I'm gonna put the name on, uh, and the name is gonna be Optical Optical Floors. I'm gonna add the Optical Floors plugin again. If you want those plugins safely, link in the description. And I'm gonna get this cross spike right here, and it's gonna be, I guess, pink the color. Okay, okay. Get right here on the 3D, change uh, on black to on transparent, and that's perfect. I'm gonna just change the position Z and I'm gonna put like right here. Let me see. Right here. I'm gonna cross the brightness and you can change the color. I'm gonna make a animation for this up colors. So click right here on the position X and Y. Press U and put this key from a little bit forward and make animation like this, I guess. F9. I'm gonna make this graph. Okay, uh, I'll get this up colors. I'm gonna put like right here. Perfect. And right here, I'm gonna make a new camera animation. So Control Alt Shift Y, Control Shift D, press Del, link this node to this node. Click right here on the 3D, press P. Click right here, but in Shift, press R to open the rotation properties and just Make the new keyframes. Press U, press U again. And I'm gonna make this animation right here. Uh, something like this. And I'm, I'm not gonna use those two keyframes, so select them. Press Del again. And yeah, something like this, I guess. Like right here. Yeah, something like this. And um, press N. I'm gonna right button right here to comfort area and that's perfect. Okay, that's good. First, I'm gonna add some blurs. So, Control Alt Y, Control Shift D, press Del, add the S blur. And when the camera starts movement, you're gonna add this blur. So, for example, right here has a uh, camera animation. So, I'm gonna add this blur. I'm gonna apply like, um, 30. I guess that's good. Click on the keyframe, press U, and go some frames forward and put zero. Control Shift D and press down. And as you can see, it's gonna make this effect right here. And just do the same for the others, uh, other animation. For example, right here, Control D and plug right here. You can um, a little bit forward. Okay, some 
something like this, I guess. They're gonna add a Lux, so Control Alt Y, and they're gonna add the Lux effect. Again, all those presets, uh, plugins, everything you want to have on my editor's pack. Okay, I got this preset from my editor's pack. I'm just gonna duplicate this layer and you can decrease the strength. Uh, not much, nothing like this. I'm gonna add a noise as well. Remove this option right here, was color noise, and you can increase the uh, noise amount. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna add as well uh, optical compensation. Click right on reverse lane distortion and you can increase the buff. Looks something like this. Uh, okay, Control Y. And I'm gonna add a CC Jaws. Change the spikes to Robo Jaw. And put height in zero. And does increase the complexion. Perfect. That's better. I'm gonna create a new HS Miller. Control Alt Y. And I'm gonna add a CC Vine. Perfect. Something like this. On those layers right here, I'm gonna add a S blur effect. First, I'm gonna add a grow bounce. I have like 444. And I'm gonna add the S blur. Perfect. Um, yeah, something like this. Control A, Control C, and just based on the other layers. This one was well. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna make a new adjustment layer. Now I'm gonna add a shake animation. Okay, perfect. You can copy this preset right here. Uh, you can undecrease the frequency or whatever you want to, but it looks pretty good. I'm gonna make a new adjustment layer and I'm gonna add another preset. Perfect. I add this film damage preset right here. Looks way better. Control A, click right on the motion blur, Control Shift C, move out to the composition, and I'm gonna add a pulse time, and I guess 17 is good. Now, let's take a look. Okay, and for me that's perfect. Looks really good, and I really hope you like it, and you learn something on this class. So, thanks so much guys, and see ya.